Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'll try my best with the protocols uh, to the representative of the Vice President, uh, Your Excellency is the Governor, representatives of ministers and advisors to the President, Excellencies, fellow members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished guests, and all protocols observed. Let me begin by thanking Business Day Nigeria uh, for the invitation to the U.S. Consulate. It's a pleasure to speak with you today at the African Trade and Investment Summit on behalf of the U.S. Mission to Nigeria and of Consul General Will William Stevens, who unfortunately was not able to be with you today. My name is Julie LeBlanc. I'm the commercial counselor uh, to Nigeria, which means that I represent the U.S. Department of Commerce. And it's an honor to address an esteemed group of representatives from the public private and development sectors today. The United States is deeply committed to its role as a steadfast economic and commercial partner to African nations. This commitment was recently highlighted by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. His visit to West Africa, including stops in Nigeria, both in Abuja and in Lagos, as well as Cape Verde, Cote d'Ivoire and Angola just last week. This visit reinforced our dedication to enhancing security, partnerships, health initiatives, and economic development in the region. As Secretary Blinken aptly put it, the future is African. With projections showing that one in four global inhabitants will be from the continent in the coming years, engaging with Africa is not just an opportunity, it's a necessity. Reflecting on the past year, especially since the U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit in December 2022, it's inspiring to see the strides that have been made. In 2023, the United States supported and finalized 547 new deals, amounting to an estimated $14.2 billion in two-way trade and investment with African countries. This marked a remarkable 60% increase in both the number and the value of deals compared with 2022. These investments have led to tangible benefits for both American and African communities, creating inclusive growth, supply chain resilience, and quality jobs. Some key achievements I want to highlight. The International Development Finance Corporation's commitment of over $2 billion across 46 transactions in Africa. The U.S. Trade and Development Agency's facilitation of 15 project preparation grants, leveraging more than $3.4 billion in infrastructure finance. My agency, the Department of Commerce's promotion of nearly $3.6 billion in U.S. exports to Africa along with new bilateral commercial dialogues and the establishment of new foreign commercial service offices on the continent. The U.S. mission to Nigeria is particularly optimistic about the future of U.S.-Africa trade and investment relations. We are actively collaborating with U.S. government departments and with our African partners. Notable initiatives include the U.S.-African Continental Free Trade Area Memorandum of Understanding. This is the U.S. government's contribution of $160 million to support the African Free Trade Continental Area, and this exemplifies our commitment. This funding supports the development of digital trade and investment protocols, stakeholders, stakeholder engagements across Africa, and trade facilitation efforts. Our focus is on expanding trade in goods and services, digital trade, and supporting the women and youth protocol of the Africa continental free trade area. When President Biden co-hosted the 2023 African Growth and Opportunity Act Forum, AGOA as we all know it, in South Africa and Johannesburg, he expressed strong support for the timely reauthorization and modernization of AGOA. This initiative presents an opportunity to adapt AGOA to the modern economic landscape, recognizing dynamic changes in Africa and the global economy. While Congress, the U.S. Congress, will ultimately decide the future, 
the Biden-Harris administration is committed to its timely reauthorization and improvement. Beyond AGOA, the U.S. has initiated several programs to enhance trade and investment with African countries, such as the Strategic, partnership, strategic Trade and Investment Partnership with Kenya and the $15.7 billion new investments that were announced at the U.S. Africa Business Forum. Prosper Africa is another initiative uniting services from across the U.S. government to facilitate business in U.S. and African markets. Under the Partner for, Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment, we call this P, PGII, the U.S. is collaborating with the European Union to support infrastructure development in Angola, Zambia, the DRC, and with a particular focus on the Lobito Corridor. This partnership is another testament to our commitment to unlock, unlocking the enormous potential of Sub-Saharan Africa. Turning our attention to Nigeria, one of the continent's largest economies, the largest economy, we recognize the vital role it plays in regional and global markets. With two-way trade exceeding $10.6 billion in 2022 and U.S. foreign direct investment into Nigeria totaling $5.6 billion, Nigeria stands as our second largest trading partner in Africa. Our partnership is increasingly technology driven with significant investments in Nigeria's tech ecosystem and collaborative efforts to tackle global challenges in education, healthcare, agriculture, and other key areas. The Biden-Harris administration's launch of the Digital Transformation with Africa, we call this DTA, at the U.S. African Business Forum exemplifies our commitment to this partnership. DTA aims to expand digital access, enhance U.S. African commercial relations, and strengthen digital environments in alignment with the African Union's digital transformation strategy. This initiative underscores a collaborative approach, digital transformation, transformation with Africa, recognizing the continent's significant contributions to the global stage. The US government has invested $350 million in digital programs with plans to invest millions more. And this reflects our dedication to this initiative. DTA will facilitate over $450 million in financing, harnessing the resources of 18 U.S. government agencies, partnering with African governments, the private sector, and civil society. As we look to the future, we see Nigeria as a key leader on the continent and a vital partner to the United States in advancing our shared values. What benefits Nigeria benefits Africa and indeed the entire world. I would like to say thank you to Business Day. Thank you to all of you. It was an honor to speak before you, and thank you.